In mathematics and its applications, a classical Sturm Liouville theory, named after Jacques Charles Francois Sturm (1803–1855) and Joseph Liouville (1809–1882), is the theory of a real second-order linear differential equation of the form where y is a function of the free variable x. Here the functions p x, q x, and w x greater than zero are specified at the outset. In the simplest of cases all coefficients are continuous on the finite closed interval a, b, and p has continuous derivative. In this simplest of all cases, this function y is called a solution if it is continuously differentiable on a, b, and satisfies the equation 1 at every point in a, b. In addition, the unknown function y is typically required to satisfy some boundary conditions at a and b. The function w x, which is sometimes also called r x, is called the weight or density function. The value of lambda is not specified in the equation. Finding the values of lambda for which there exists a non-trivial solution of 1 satisfying the boundary conditions is part of the Sturm-Liouville SL problem. Such values of lambda, when they exist, are called the eigenvalues of the boundary value problem defined by 1 and the prescribed set of boundary conditions. The corresponding solutions for each such lambda are the eigenfunctions of this problem. Under normal assumptions on the coefficient functions p, x, q, x, and w, x above, they induce a Hermitian differential operator in some function space defined by boundary conditions. The resulting theory of the existence and asymptotic behavior of the eigenvalues, the corresponding qualitative theory of the eigenfunctions and their completeness in a suitable function space became known as Sturm-Liouville theory. This theory is important in applied mathematics, where SL problems occur very commonly, particularly when dealing with linear partial differential equations that are separable. A Sturm-Liouville SL problem is said to be regular if p x w x greater than zero and p x p x q x and w x are continuous functions over the finite interval a b and has separated boundary conditions of the form under the assumption that the SL problem is regular. The main tenet of Sturm-Liouville theory states that the eigenvalues lambda one, lambda two, lambda three of the regular Sturm-Liouville problem one, two, three are real and can be ordered such that lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda n infinity display style lambda underscore 1 corresponding to each eigenvalue lambda n as a unique up to a normalization constant eigenfunction y n x which has exactly n minus 1 zeros in a b the eigenfunction y n x is called the nth fundamental solution satisfying the regular sturm liouville problem 1 2 3 the normalized eigenfunctions form an orthonormal basis a B Y N X Y M X W X D X equals Delta M N Display style int underscore a carrot b y underscore n x y underscore m x w x mathrm d x equals delta underscore Minnesota. In the Hilbert space L two a b w x d x. Here delta Minnesota is the Kronecker delta. Note that unless p x is continuously differentiable and q x and w x are continuous, the equation has to be understood in a weak sense. Topic: Sturm-Liouville form. The differential equation one is said to be in Sturm-Liouville form or self-adjoint form. All second-order linear ordinary differential equations can be recast in the form on the left-hand side of one by multiplying both sides of the equation by an appropriate integrating factor. Although the same is not true of second-order partial differential equations, or if y is a vector. Topic Examples Topic The Bessel equation X two Y plus X Y plus X two minus new two Y equals 
zero Display style x carrot two y plus xi plus left x carrot two new carrot two right y equals zero, which can be written in sturm liouville form as x y plus x minus new two x y equals zero. Display style left x y right plus left x frac new caret two x right y equals zero. Topic: The Legendre equation. One minus x two y minus two x y plus new new plus 1 y equals 0 display style left 1 x caret 2 right y minus 2 x y plus new new plus 1 y equals 0 which can easily be put into sturm liouville form since d dx 1 minus x 2 equals minus 2 x so the legendre equation is equivalent to one minus x two y plus new new plus one y equals zero Display style left left one x carrot two right y right plus new new plus one y equals zero Topic an example using an integrating factor x 3 y minus x y plus 2 y equals 0 display style x caret 3 y x y plus 2 y equals 0 divide throughout by x 3 Y minus one x two y plus two x three y equals zero. Display style y frac one x caret two y plus frac two x caret three y equals zero. Multiplying throughout by an integrating factor of mu x equals exp minus one x two d x equals e one x Display style mu x equals exp left int frac one x caret two mathrm d x right equals e caret frac one x gives e one x y minus e one x x two y plus two E one x x three y equals zero. Display style e caret frac one x y frac e caret frac one x x caret two y plus frac two e caret frac one x x caret three y equals zero, which can be easily put into sturm liouville form since D D X E one X equals minus E one X X two Display style FRAC Mathem D Mathem D X E carrot FRAC one X equals FRAC E carrot FRAC one X X carrot two so the differential equation is equivalent to e one x y 
plus two E one X X three Y equals zero Display style left E carrot FRAC one x y right plus FRAC two E carrot FRAC one x x carrot three y equals zero. Topic The integrating factor for a general second order differential equation P x y plus Q x y plus r x y equals 0 display style p x y plus q x y plus r x y equals 0 multiplying through by the integrating factor mu x equals 1 p x E x p q x p x d x display style mu x equals frac one p x e x p left int frac q x p x mathrm d x right, and then collecting gives the sturm liouville form d d x mu x P x y plus mu x r x y equals zero. Display style frac mathrm d mathrm d x b i g l mu x p x y big R plus mu x r x y equals zero, or explicitly d D x e x p q x p x d x y plus r x p x e x p q x p x d x y equals 0 display style frac mathrm d mathrm dx left exp left int frac q x p x mathrm dx right y right plus frac r x p x exp left int frac q x p x mathrm dx right y equals 0 Topic: Sturm-Liouville equations as self-adjoint differential operators. The map L U equals minus one W x d d x p x d U d x plus q x u display style lu equals frac 1 w x left frac mathrm d mathrm d x left p x frac mathrm d u mathrm d x right plus q x u right can be viewed as a linear operator l mapping a function u to another function lu one may study this linear operator in the context of functional analysis. In fact, equation 1 can be written as L u equals lambda u. Display style lu equals lambda u. This is precisely the eigenvalue problem. That is, one is trying to find the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 and the corresponding eigenvectors u1, u2, u3 of the L operator. The proper setting for this problem is the Hilbert space L2 A, B, W, X, DX with scalar product F G equals 
a b f x g x w x d x Display style Langle F G Wrangle equals int underscore a carrot B overline F X G X W X Mathem D X In this space L is defined on sufficiently smooth functions which satisfy the above boundary conditions. Moreover, L gives rise to a self adjoint operator L F G equals F L G Display style Langle LF G Wrangle equals Langle F L G Wrangle. This can be seen formally by using integration by parts twice, where the boundary terms vanish by virtue of the boundary conditions. It then follows that the eigenvalues of a Sturm Liouville operator are real and that eigenfunctions of L corresponding to different eigenvalues are orthogonal. However, this operator is unbounded and hence existence of an orthonormal basis of eigenfunctions is not evident. To overcome this problem, one looks at the resolvent L minus Z minus 1 Z element of C display style left L Z right caret minus 1 Q quad Z in math B C where Z is chosen to be some real number which is not an eigenvalue. Then, computing the resolvent amounts to solving the inhomogeneous equation, which can be done using the variation of parameters formula. This shows that the resolvent is an integral operator with a continuous symmetric kernel the Green's function of the problem. As a consequence of the arzela ascoli theorem, this integral operator is compact and existence of a sequence of eigenvalues α(n) which converge to zero and eigenfunctions which form an orthonormal basis follows from the spectral theorem for compact operators. Finally, note that L minus Z minus 1 U equals alpha U L U equals Z plus alpha minus one U display style left L Z right carrot minus one U equals alpha U Q quad Lu equals left Z plus alpha carrot minus one right U are equivalent. If the interval is unbounded, or if the coefficients have singularities at the boundary points, one calls L singular. In this case, the spectrum no longer consists of eigenvalues alone and can contain a continuous component. There is still an associated eigenfunction expansion, similar to Fourier series versus Fourier transform. This is important in quantum mechanics, since the one-dimensional time-independent Schrödinger equation is a special case of ASL equation. Topic: Second order differential equation with boundary conditions. The operator L in the previous section can be written L U equals P W X U plus P W X U plus Q W X U display style Lu equals frac P W X U plus frac P W X U plus frac Q W X U if I plus by plus psi equals F X is an ordinary second order differential equation and assuming for the sake of simplicity that a X does not equal zero the first member can be transformed into a Sturm Liouville operator L by solving the following system of equations P equals a W P equals B W Q equals C W display style P equals a quad P equals B W quad Q equals C W it suffices to solve the first two equations which in turn amounts to solve a equals B W or W 
equals b minus a a w equals alpha w display style w equals frac b a a w equals alpha w a solution as w equals exp alpha d x p equals a exp alpha d x q equals c exp alpha d x Display style W equals EXP left int alpha mathem D X right quad P equals A EXP left int alpha mathem D X right quad Q equals C EXP left int alpha mathem D X right. Thus, the first member of the proposed equation can be transformed in a Sturm Liouville operator L as in the previous section. And the equation can now be written as L Y equals f display style li equals f in general if initial conditions at some point are specified for example y a topic 0 and y a 0 a second order differential equation can be solved using ordinary methods and a well known fundamental theorem ensures that the differential equation has a unique solution in a neighborhood of the point where the initial conditions have been specified but if in place of specifying initial values at a single point it is desired to specify values at two different points so called boundary values eg y a topic 0 and y b 1 the problem turns out to be much more difficult notice that by adding a suitable known differentiable function to y whose values at a and b satisfy the desired boundary conditions and injecting inside the proposed differential equation it can be assumed without loss of generality that the boundary conditions are of the form y a topic 0 and y b 0 from this point the sturm liouville theory comes in play indeed for a large class of functions f f can be reconstructed from a set of orthonormal eigenfunction ui of the associated liouville problem it may be helpful to think about fourier decomposition with corresponding eigenvalue lambda i f x equals i alpha i u i x alpha i element of r display style f x equals sum underscore i alpha underscore i u underscore i x quad alpha underscore i in math b r then a solution to the proposed equation is simply y equals i alpha i lambda i u i display style y equals sum underscore i frac alpha underscore i lambda underscore i u underscore i as can be checked immediately note however that the solution will be valid in the open interval a b equals x a equals Topic example equals We wish to find a function u x which solves the following Sturm Liouville problem, where the unknowns are lambda and u x. As above, we must add boundary conditions. We take for example u zero equals u pi equals zero. Display style u zero equals u pi equals zero. Observe that if k is any integer, then the function u x equals sin k x 
display style u x equals sin k x is a solution with eigenvalue lambda equals k two. We know that the solutions of ASL problem form an orthogonal basis, and we know from Fourier series that this set of sinusoidal functions is an orthogonal basis. Since orthogonal bases are always maximal by definition, we conclude that the SL problem in this case has no other eigenvectors. Given the preceding, let us now solve the inhomogeneous problem L U equals X X element of zero pi display style lu equals x q quad x in zero pi with the same boundary conditions in this case we must write f x equals x in a fourier series the reader may check either by integrating e i k x x dx or by consulting a table of fourier transforms that we thus obtain l u equals k equals 1 infinity minus 2 minus 1 k k sin k x display style lu equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret n a t minus 2 frac left minus 1 right caret k k sin k x this particular Fourier series is troublesome because of its poor convergence properties. It is not clear a priori whether the series converges pointwise. Because of Fourier analysis, since the Fourier coefficients are square summable, the Fourier series converges in L2 which is all we need for this particular theory to function. We mention for the interested reader that in this case we may rely on a result which says that Fourier series converge at every point of differentiability, and at jump points the function x, considered as a periodic function, has a jump at pi converges to the average of the left and right limits see convergence of Fourier series. Therefore, by using formula 4, we obtain that the solution is u equals k equals 1 infinity 2 minus 1 k k 3 sin k x display style u equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret n a t 2 frac left minus 1 right caret k k caret 3 sin k x in this case we could have found the answer using anti-differentiation this technique yields u equals 1 6 x 3 minus pi 2 x display style u equals tfrac 1 6 left x caret 3 pi caret 2 x right whose fourier series agrees with the solution we found the anti-differentiation technique is no longer useful in most cases when the differential equation is in many variables. Topic: <laughs> Application to normal modes. Certain partial differential equations can be solved with the help of SL theory. Suppose we are interested in the vibrational modes of a thin membrane, held in a rectangular frame, 0xL1, 0yL2. The equation of motion for the vertical membrane's displacement, W, X, Y, T, is given by the wave equation 2 W X 2 plus 2 W Y 2 equals 1 c 2 2 w t 2 display style frac partial caret 2 w partial x caret 2 plus frac partial caret 2 w partial y caret 2 equals frac 1 c caret 2 frac partial caret 2 w partial t caret 2 the method of separation of variables suggests looking first for solutions of the simple form W. Topic: 
x x times y y times t t. For such a function w, the partial differential equation becomes x x plus y y. One c two t t. Since the three terms of this equation are functions of x, y, t separately, they must be constants. For example, the first term gives x equals lambda x for a constant lambda. The boundary conditions held in a rectangular frame are w equals zero when x topic zero l one or y. 0, L2 and define the simplest possible SL eigenvalue problems as in the example, yielding the normal mode solutions for W with harmonic time dependence W M N X Y T equals A M N sin M pi X L one sin N Pi Y L two cos Omega M N T Display style W underscore Minnesota X, Y, T equals A underscore Minnesota sin left FRAC M pi X L underscore one right sin left FRAC N pi Y L underscore two right cos left Omega underscore Minnesota T right Where M and N are non zero integers, A M N are arbitrary constants, and Omega M N two equals C two M two Pi two L one two plus N two Pi two L two two Display style omega underscore Minnesota carrot two equals C carrot two left FRAC M carrot two pi carrot two L underscore one carrot two plus FRAC N carrot two pi carrot two L underscore two carrot two right The functions WMN form a basis for the Hilbert space of generalized solutions of the wave equation, that is, an arbitrary solution W can be decomposed into a sum of these modes, which vibrate at their individual frequencies omega Minnesota. This representation may require a convergent infinite sum. Topic: Representation of solutions and numerical calculation. The sturm liouville differential equation 1 with boundary conditions may be solved in practice by a variety of numerical methods. In difficult cases, one may need to carry out the intermediate calculations to several hundred decimal places of accuracy in order to obtain the eigenvalues correctly to a few decimal places. Shooting methods. These methods proceed by guessing a value of lambda, solving an initial value problem defined by the boundary conditions at one endpoint, say, A, of the interval A, B, comparing the value this solution takes at the other endpoint B with the other desired boundary condition, and finally increasing or decreasing lambda as necessary to correct the original value. This strategy is not applicable for locating complex eigenvalues. Finite difference method. The spectral parameter power series SPPS method makes use of a generalization of the following fact about second order ordinary differential equations. If y is a solution which does not vanish at any point of a, b, then the function y x a x d t p t y t 2 Display style y x int underscore a caret x frac mathrm d t p t y t caret two is a solution of the same equation and is linearly independent from y. Further, all solutions are linear combinations of these two solutions. 
In the SPPS algorithm, one must begin with an arbitrary value lambda 0, often lambda 0. Topic 0, it does not need to be an eigenvalue and any solution y0 of 1 with lambda Lambda zero, which does not vanish on a b. Discussion below of ways to find appropriate y zero and lambda zero. Two sequences of functions x n t x n t on a b, referred to as iterated integrals, are defined recursively as follows. First, when n equals zero, they are taken to be identically equal to one on a b. To obtain the next functions they are multiplied alternately by one p y twenty and y twenty and integrated specifically when n greater than 0. The resulting iterated integrals are now applied as coefficients in the following two power series in lambda u 0 equals y 0 k equals 0 infinity lambda minus lambda 0 k x tilde 2 k display style u underscore 0 equals y underscore 0 sum underscore k equals 0 caret n f t left lambda lambda underscore 0 caret asterisk right caret k tilde x caret 2 k u 1 equals y 0 k equals Zero infinity lambda minus lambda zero k x two k plus one display style u underscore one equals y underscore zero sum underscore k equals zero caret n f t left lambda lambda underscore zero caret asterisk right caret k x caret two k plus one then for any lambda real or complex u zero and u one are linearly independent solutions of the corresponding equation one the functions p x and q x take part in this construction through their influence on the choice of y zero Next one chooses coefficients c0 and c1 so that the combination y equals c0 u0 plus c1 u1 satisfies the first boundary condition 2. This is simple to do since x n a equals 0 and x n a. Topic 0 for n greater than 0. The values of x n b and x n b provide the values of u zero b and u one b and the derivatives u zero b and u zero b. So the second boundary condition three becomes an equation in a power series in lambda. For numerical work, one may truncate this series to a finite number of terms, producing a calculable polynomial in lambda whose roots are approximations of the sought after eigenvalues, when lambda lambda zero. This reduces to the original construction described above for a solution linearly independent to a given one. The representations 5 and 6 also have theoretical applications in sturm liouville theory. Topic: <laughs> Construction of a non-vanishing solution. The SPPS method can itself be used to find a starting solution y0. Consider the equation py Topic mu q y i e q w and lambda are replaced in one by zero minus q and mu respectively. Then the constant function one is a non-vanishing solution corresponding to the eigenvalue mu zero zero. While there is no guarantee that u zero or u one will not vanish, the complex function y zero. Topic. U0 plus U1 will never vanish because two linearly independent solutions of a regular SL equation cannot vanish simultaneously as a consequence of the Sturm separation theorem. 
This trick gives a solution y0 of 1 for the value λ0. Zero. In practice if 1 has real coefficients, the solutions based on y0 will have very small imaginary parts which must be discarded. Topic. Application to partial differential equations For a linear second order in one spatial dimension and first order in time of the form f x 2 u x 2 plus g x u x plus h x u equals u t plus k t u Display style f x frac partial caret two u partial x caret two plus g x frac partial u partial x plus h x u equals frac partial u partial t plus k t u u a t equals u b t equals zero Display style u a t equals u b t equals zero u x zero equals s x display style u x zero equals s x. Let us apply sep aeration of variables, which in doing we must impose that u x t equals x x t t display style u x t equals x x t t then our above partial differential equation may be written as l caret x x x x equals m caret t t t T display style frac hat l x x x x equals frac hat m t t t t where l caret equals f x d two d x two plus g x d D x plus H x M carrot equals D D T plus K T Display style hat L equals F x FRAC Mathem D carrot two Mathem D x carrot two plus G x FRAC Mathem D Mathem D x plus H x Q quad hat M equals FRAC Mathem D Mathem D T plus K T since, by definition, L, and X, X are independent of time T and M, and T, T are independent of position X, then both sides of the above equation must be equal to a constant L caret X X equals lambda X X display style hat L X X equals lambda X X X A equals x b equals 0 display style x a equals x b equals 0 m caret t t equals lambda t t display style hat m t t equals lambda t t the first of these equations must be solved as a Sturm-Liouville problem. Since there is no general analytic exact solution to Sturm-Liouville problems, we can assume we already have the solution to this problem, that is, we have the eigenfunctions xn and eigenvalues λn. 
The second of these equations can be analytically solved once the eigenvalues are known. D D T T N T equals lambda N minus K T T N T Display style FRAC Mathem D Mathem D T T underscore N T equals B I G L Lambda underscore N K T big R T underscore N T T N T equals A N E X P Lambda N T minus zero T K Tau D Tau Display style T underscore N T equals a underscore N E X P left lambda underscore N T int underscore zero carrot T K Tau Mathem D Tau right U X T equals N A N X N X E X P Lambda N T minus zero T K Tau D Tau Display style U X T equals sum underscore N A underscore N X underscore N X E X P left Lambda underscore N T int underscore zero carrot T K Tau Mathem D Tau right A N equals X N X S X X N X X N X display style underscore n equals frac b i g l Langle x underscore n x s x big R wrangle b i g l Langle x underscore n x x underscore n x big R wrangle where y x z x equals a B Y X Z X W X D X Display style B I G L Langle Y X Z X Big R Wrangle equals int underscore a carrot B Y X Z X W X Mathem D X W X equals E X P G X F X D X F X Display style W X equals FRAC EXP left int FRAC G X F X Mathem D X right F X Topic See also Normal mode Oscillation theory Self-adjoint Variation of parameters Spectral theory of ordinary differential equations Atkinson-Mingarelli theorem <laughs>